This is a brief tutorial to help you become familiar with a new website that's been set up for our uh, Hampton High class of 1969. First thing to point out is the URL address to access uh, this website www.hamptonreunions.com forward slash 69 and that will bring you to this page that we're viewing right now. So let me show you a few things about it just to tour around this page and then we'll link to a couple of other pages. First of all let me forewarn you that when you access this page a video is going to play with music. I happen to have my laptop muted right now. Let me unmute it. And you'll hear that uh, DVD, that video play. Uh, the web designer set up this uh, particular video to play whenever we access it. It was a 1969 song by Elvis Presley. So you'll hear that whenever you come in uh, and you can of course mute your laptop or pause the video when you get there if you don't want to hear it. Other things that point out that uh, you'll see on the left hand side of the page uh, links to other sub pages within the site, a class list, missing class classmates, a couple of other links here that you can uh, browse when you get in here yourself. Um, You'll notice up here there's an in memoriam link. I'll show you that page uh, in just a moment. The first thing I want to show you, however, uh, is this sign in page. Uh, so when you get to this uh, link, click on the sign in uh, link there and it'll take you to this page. Now, initially, you're going to need a password uh, to access the site. Now, you can actually view the HamptonReunions.com website and even the class list without having a password but by getting a password it will allow you to maintain your own profile uh, contact information that will be very helpful for the reunion committee uh, and there's some other features that come along with being able uh, to have an, with having a password so I want to show you how you go about doing that now initially you won't have this information so you'll want to right here where it says need a password click here so you'll actually click on that and then it'll give you the opportunity to key in your pa uh, your email address which uh, I've set up a test classmate for this purpose. Also select the, the, the year. Right now we're again, we're the only class using the site. That's why it's 1969 is the only one on the list. Then you'll click on get password. Uh, I'm not gonna do that right now because I've already done that. Uh, when you click on get password, then you're going to, a page is gonna come up that indicates that it sent you the, uh, the email. Then you can go to your email account and see that and view the email that it sent you it may take a couple of minutes and then you it'll actually give you a link that you can click on uh, that take and notice the password in fact I'm gonna go ahead and copy that password because you know at our age we have a hard time remembering things so I'll just uh, copy that and we'll paste it in when I get there so I click on that link brings me back to this page I enter my email address again paste in that password and then click on login uh, and now it's logging me in now first thing it's going to show you is this alumni directory now this is simply a list of uh, other uh, Hampton High classmates that have requested a password right now we're just getting started so as you can see we've only got two so when you get to this point and you'll uh, click on go to our full class list and that will take you in to the class list and there you see the list of all of the classmates that we've loaded on to our database uh, now you'll notice on the far right hand side you'll come to where it's a, you, a place where you can it says edit my profile so if you click on that that will take you to where you can maintain your contact information I've set up this particular uh, test uh, classmate called Testy Aaron uh, and just started to enter the information and so you can update your own um, information as you see fit notice here you can identify what information you're okay with sharing with those other classmates that access the site so if you don't want your phone number for example to be seen then just don't cl uh, click on that checkbox so you can scroll on down and enter alternate email addresses if you have a 
your own little website that you maintain you can enter in the URL there if you have a Facebook account you can enter the URL there and other information right on down the line to update your profile and then once you're done at the very bottom you can click on update now and it will uh, maintain uh, it will update the information that you've just entered so once you've done that go back to home um, and you'll notice that when you this took us back to a more general website for uh, all of 1969 I mean excuse me all of the Hampton High websites right now we are the only ones using it so you click on the 1969 it takes us back to our page all right a couple other things I want to show you we uh, uh, in memoriam is a very nice feature if you click on that then it actually brings up uh, a page that shows those of our classmates uh, that are deceased uh, with the photos that that I've scanned and uploaded to the site still in the process of doing that so not all of them at this point um, uh, have have pictures uh, but we'll work to do that um, so let's look at our class list to show you a few things about that there it brings up the list of all of our classmates uh, right now again the, the database has just recently been uh, populated so it shows that verification needed for just about everyone um, but uh, an interesting uh, feature of this is that uh, as you're browsing through it and if you see someone on the list uh, that you happen to know their email address or you know their other contact information then uh, you can click on the um, verification needed or the help for example here's George Clarkson George Clarkson well there's another feature I can show you if you hover over this little icon it will uh, display the scanned photo that we we have there so um, but if you click on verification needed uh, then basically it opens up your email uh, account uh, and a, an email and allows you to put the contact information that you know and then shoot us that email so kind of a nice feature there um, so you can browse around and see other things about our class list um, and browse these other sub pages uh, one other thing to point out uh, we're in the process of planning a little event uh, to celebrate our 60th birthday since most of us will be turning 60 during 2011 and you can see a little countdown to that event and you'll be hearing more information about that in the days of weeks and months to come so I think that's enough uh, as far as initial information to help you um, become familiar with the, the site so uh, I hope that uh, once you view this video that you'll link in uh, update your profile and uh, enjoy the website